Welcome to Tasting One. Hi, I'm Haley. Um, so today we are trying, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Oh, well, so we're tasting wine today. We're tasting wine. We're tasting champagne. Do you know how to say this one? Yes. It is uh, Duvenage. Duvenage. Oh, yeah. Look at this bottle. Look how cool this is. Woo! I'm super excited to try this. And I think it's Princes. Yeah, so they do ones that are in like regular champagne bottles, but then they have these like fancy ones. Yeah, so they have um, their uh, Cordon Bleu uh, line, which is like in a typical champagne bottle, and that's uh, mainly Pinot Noir. Um, and then they have this one, the Princes, and the bottle shape, sorry, I'm hitting facts already. Yeah. But the bottle shape actually represents a decanter um because they made this yeah. champagne for the prince of orange and the royal family in holland then they would like decant the champagne so in 1961 the owner of duvenage uh decided to make the bottle in the shape of a decanter what i kind of really like that isn't that cool i was like this thing is so obnoxious because i can't fit it in like <laughs> anywhere like if you had a wine room sure but i got wine fridges i know but i i kind of like that it's like no old, it's cool you know it's like yeah. oh my champagne bottle's gonna take up half your fridge oh Ooh. Okay. all right i oh, know it's the shape because it like pours quicker from the bottom so oh this is a beautiful color it's super light yeah very, very nice. Well, I can start to smell the aromas from here. It's like pineapple. Mmm, it is like pineapple. This it's is like, a really it, nice. It's like pineapple when I put it in the dehydrator. You know, it's dry, like dried pineapple. Wow, what an interesting nose. It is pineapple, then kind of goes towards more of that like classic champagne, like buttery toasted sort of thing. And then it ends in like coconut, oh, yeah, like smooth coconut. Yeah, I was, some of the reviews I've been reading about just other champagnes in general. A lot of people do get coconut on a lot of these other champagnes, and I think it's when they're more Pinot Noir based. I mean, this one's a Chardonnay based one. This is Blancs, Blancs, de Blancs. Blancs de Blancs. Blancs de Blancs, which is Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Which is Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. Chardonnay. And then Blancs de Noir is Pinot Noir. I don't. What do they say when it's a blend? Then I don't know. Anyways, you hit it on the head, but it's got, it's got a little bit like a, like a funk in there too, a little bit of like a, like a wet earth type of like, not socks, but like a wet earth, like damp leaves mm. after it rains kind of funk. It's sauteed mushrooms. It's literally sauteed oh. mushrooms and like a heavy cream sauce yeah. with some like Parmesan cheese on top. Oh my gosh, Crack this is a meal already. Wow. This is a meal already. So I am very excited. Holy cow. And now knowing all the stuff you told me, how this is like a decanter, that makes it even cooler. Yeah, I think the That's history really behind really this cool. is like really cool. Yeah. The, um, so it's Henry, Henry Mark, uh, it was the original guy. He was actually from Switzerland and then settled in the Champagne region and started it with his son, Joseph. Wow, you gotta try this. I feel like it, maybe the decanter does serve its purpose because I feel like it it's a, needs to open up a little bit, but you gotta try it. So actually this one is supposed to have like a bitter aftertaste. Mm. If you're getting bitter, that's the, it's supposed to be Okay, bad. okay. No, Sorry, it's... I can't, I just keep smelling it, I can't. Yeah, no, the it. smell is, is amazing. This is, the smell is as, or almost as transcendent as like the Dom Perignon we had, where it's like you're on like an adventure. A journey. Like a little bit of a journey. Wow, this is really interesting in terms of kind of where it hits you in the palate, it kind of starts at the tip of your tongue and then works like around your yeah. tongue and then like back up. Wow, you are so right. I, I didn't notice that on the first one, but on. you are in tune with your senses. Wow. It literally like gets you right in the like, it really, se like center of the yeah, tongue. Yeah, it's like the tip of my tongue is still tingling. Yeah. The bubbles, great. Yes. Love wow. me some of these Wow, bubbles. look at us, we're so into champagne now. This is dangerous. Good thing we didn't yeah, find out about this bad. before because these champagnes can be a little pricey, but they're super fun to drink. And I think like you need to drink more sparkling wines and more champagne and that way more people start making it, you know? I, I love the taste of this. It is definitely bitter towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, but the taste is not like as, not that it's bad, it's but complex. it's just like not complex. No. Um, so I wonder... The finish is super long though. Oh yeah, the finish is The great. finish is super, super long, which I 
personally enjoy, I mean, I'd rather it be more complex, but if it's complex and doesn't have a long finish, then I'm like, ah, you know? But what else are you gonna say? Well, I was just gonna say, I wonder if it needs to warm up like a smidge. It might need to warm up just a smidge. I mean, it's probably at like 55 degrees or so, maybe a little cooler, 53. But this, it makes me very intrigued to try their other, like, I wanna try all their other Oh yeah, stuff. there's Louis the, okay. 30th, XV. XV, that's 15. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because Louis the Fifteenth oh, did like a major, amazing, amazing things for Champagne. He was a French king who um, oh, like man. allowed Champagne to be like bottled and exported. And wow, whatnot. This is fantastic. I mean, everything about this. I mean, look at it. Look at this. How cool is this? I'm keeping the bottle. That's for sure. So I, I do think that this is kind of warming up a little bit, mm -hmm. and I think that it's starting to get a little bit more robust. It's on the getting taste. it's getting a little bit more expressive on the taste. It's kind of like rounding out a little bit. It's got a little bit more of like a, like a zestiness to it too. Yeah, Maybe to like me it's orange like orange zest. Oh, let's not say orange zest. Yes. Orange zest, and then like a red delicious apple. Yeah. There's apples on there for sure. I wish there was more of that dried pineapple. I really oh want there to be more. That pineapple was bomb. I really want that. Because on the smell, this smells fantastic. I want to drink this. This is the one that we've had where I really want to drink this in France. Like at like a restaurant or something like that. I mean, I drink them all. But this one, I would say, is at the top. I would want to drink this brand like in Champagne. Yeah. At a restaurant somewhere. Well, yeah. they, they have a hotel on well, their... Manor area. If you go to their website, it's actually really funny. They have like this, I don't know, promo video, I guess. It is like promo video. It's like, it's set almost to like horror music, but then it's just like a bunch of kind of like cut shots to like random French things. Like it's like someone uh, walking up the stairs, then it's a chandelier, then it's the gardens, and then like randomly the champagne bottle. It's it's kind of like a really funny juxtaposition. Man. Wow, I'm so happy. This was a little on the pricier side. This was like was, what was it? It was like eighty five bucks, eighty eighty five bucks. Wow, this is very apple. I don't know. Some of the pineapple is kind of starting really? to come through. Okay. I think it's starting to come through. Okay, I mean we are decanting it right now, so you know just by the act of drinking it, we are <laughs> decanting it. But yeah, they have a uh, they do vintage stuff, and I really want to try their vintage stuff because the vintage stuff is in bottles similar like this and. They had a really old one, like a 96, which I think is Yes, yeah, so the, the Louis the Fifteenth one is, they have a 1996 and I believe a 95. Mm. We will have to try and acquire We'll try those. that next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so now that it's like warmed up a little bit, mm -hmm. I take In the back, glass. Yeah, I take back everything that I said about what? it being lame and not complex. No, this- is definitely yeah. incredibly good. It's incredibly complex and it has like a creaminess too that kind of fills your whole mouth. Yeah, it's creamy. There's the apple, uh, the pineapple is actually kind of starting to come through. It's dried pineapple though. Yeah, dried pineapple, yeah. not like fresh. Yeah. Um, this, it, it, it just yeah. fills your entire mouth. This is an amazing bottle, I would say. I mean, just the complexities on it. Let it warm up, leave it, yeah, take, it, it warm up. take it out of the wine fridge or the refrigerator pour glass, have it because it is nice to drink it when it's nice and cold and mm -hmm. crisp. Let it sit out, room temperature, I think that's gonna be where it's at for this wine. This is this is absolutely amazing. This question comes to us from Jake M. Uh, seems like you guys got a lot of wine. We do. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't. Um, how do you guys keep track of all of it? Yeah, mm, that's a good one. That is yeah, a good one. Once we got over like 75 bottles of wine, I mean, we buy stuff, we, you know, we have three wine fridges. Um, now we have a lot more than that. But it's uh, it's one of those things, like you lose track of what you have. I feel like once you have over like 50 bottles, like unless you have like yeah. like 12 of each and you have like five different kinds or whatever, you know, it gets a little confusing. So I use an app and a website called Seller Tracker. It's free uh, and there's like reviews on there. You leave reviews. It's really cool. It says where everything's at. Check it out, Seller Tracker. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can't say anything else better about it. I really love it. Because they have the phone, you can scan, you just scan the little things, and it pull, holds it right up. And uh, you can say, oh, it's on in the wine fridge on shelf four, blah, blah, blah. So you know exactly where your stuff is. Haley doesn't know where it is, but I know where it is. 
I have absolutely no idea how to use Seller Tracker. I just drink the wine. <laughs> I'm just here for the wine. If you've ever had this uh, brand or any of their other brands, the Princes. The Princes. Let us know. These bottles are amazing. Or I, the Louis the Fifth. When I bought, yeah, the fifteenth one. We're very intrigued by that one. I was super like. This is a bummer. This bottle, I can't put it anywhere. But now I like it. I really, really like it. So now I know what it stands for. But yes, thank you for joining us. Taste of wine. Make sure you have to have a taste of wine. Let us know you're trying. Let us know you're trying next. If you got any recommendations? Let us know. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.